Hello guys and welcome to day two of the Money Life Summit here at the Queen Elizabeth Centre in London. How are you both doing? Very, Very good. good. <laughs> well, Thank you. Today we're joined by Caroline on our right and Alex on our left. Uh, before we dive into our conversation, why don't you let our viewers know a little bit about who you are and where you come from today? Um, well, uh, we're uh, from Airbank. Um, so basically what we do is a software as a service um, for um, startups and SMEs and we provide um, on the one hand multi-banking but also the opportunity to, um, to view your cash flows and therefore manage your liquidity. And also we just launched uh, a bills manager which means that you can also upload your bills and we match them automatically for you. Um, I'm responsible for all the customers we have right now at Airbank so we have over a thousand customers and uh, jo like new joiners every day. So it's, it's really exciting to see um, yeah, how fast we're growing. So I'm also on the customer team, uh, more focusing on the growth and marketing side in building this next generation financial management software for CFOs of small and, business, uh, small and medium sized businesses. And I'm pretty much supporting Caroline and the rest of the team, making sure that there is loads of new customers that we, that we, are, that we are acquiring every day. Brilliant. Well, that sounds like you're, you're both very busy. It's, yeah, you must be, I'm sure. Yes. Um, yeah. But let, let's, let's move on then. So let's have a look at the pandemic. The pandemic has been a huge time for the industry and especially for payments. Why don't you start by telling me what your own experience of the pandemic was like as a company? Well, uh, we were founded actually in the middle of the pandemic. So uh, by looking at all um, the new innovation that is arising from the pandemic, it was also time to get creative um, to, yeah, where a lot of people had to stay home and uh, basically a lot of ideas were arising. And also the opportunities we're seeing are that um, our team is, for example, a remote first, which, um, of course, because we were found in the pandemic, uh, this was kind of a necessity. But uh, we decided to keep it that way because um, it just uh, gives you access to a lot more uh, diverse talent all across Europe. So our team is spread all across Europe and uh, we're still meeting in hubs. So it's a remote first strategy, but not completely remote. So I think this is a big opportunity just to source talent from uh, different countries um, and uh, get them all together in a team so we can make Airbank grow. <laughs> That's brilliant. And you guys work a lot with business payments uh, particularly. How, how have you seen that space change in, in the last two years? So actually in the last three years, 2019 was the huge seismic shift when the open banking regulation really came into effect on paper at least because as many fintech professionals that were operating back then in this time still know the awakening for many of the fintechs was quite modest and the APIs that were supposedly delivering the service were just not doing exactly that. But now fast forward three years, we're looking at a very different maturity of APIs in order to initiate payments directly from the account. And this is not just something that is interesting for a retail customer, I'd even say it is essential for the business customer because this is suddenly a super low cost way to conduct business payments. And it's also not something that is hugely adopted today and a huge market that we are just seeing unfolding as we are speaking today. Mm. Well, speaking of, of pay tech adoption, we've really seen as a service models come into wider fruition within the industry. What opportunities would arise from, from something like that coming into play? So when building a financial management software for the CFO, as the as a service subscription model is the first way to monetization because you provide a value add service that as a software provider, you're gatekeeping through a uh, paid plan. But this is not the only way when you are sitting on business payments. There are multiple ways to monetize in the B2B area ways that are not existing for the retail customers because the necessity is just not as present for the retail customer. So you could monetize by adding uh, not just a possibility for SEPA payments, which is open banking, but also card-based payments within the same platform. You could add lending modules like revenue-based financing because as a financial management software, you provide the cash flow management uh, software and the forecasting capability, and once you know that you might run into a bit of a cash squeeze, then as a software provider, you're perfectly positioned to tell the bus uh, business, well, there is a possibility to still grow uh, by, for example, uh, adding this lending component, 
adding another uh, 20,000, for example, in uh, working capital advance. And I think we're also getting a lot of inspiration just by being at the FinTech Week, hearing all those amazing pitches, all those new ideas. Um, so yeah, we're excited to see what the future brings for us. And speaking of the future, what, what are your plans for the next 12 months? I mean, you've had such a massive journey to this point. What, what, are, what are your next steps? I mean, we're definitely moving fast, um, just because we're one year old and we've already um, come so far. Uh, but we do have a lot of things on our roadmap. Yeah, so one of the next major steps is really in creating this omni-channel payment experience for businesses. Because for us, technologically, we need to care about the, all the possibilities, how you can send money from A to B. For the customer, it only counts that the money goes from A to B in the most reliable and most affordable way. And there are plenty of rails to use today, not just SEPA and cards, the alternative payment methods as well. And for us, it is our challenge to explore all of them to provide the best experience uh, that are most fitting for the business customer. Well, that sounds all very, very interesting. And thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. I, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day two of the summit. And yeah. Definitely will. Thank you so thank much. You so much. <laughs> thank you.